Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, we're going to be finishing up a little project today that we started in a previous video that's working on making a new lead screw nut for the uh, cross slide on my Lucas horizontal boring mill circa about 1918. Uh, the original bronze nut in there was just pretty much wore out and decided while we had things apart, it would be a good time to go ahead and replace that. So we've already turned the uh, bronze nut down. We've already turned on the outside board it as well as done the internal left hand Acme threads and have all that uh, fitted up and working good. So we got to get everything finished up now so we can actually get it installed. Uh, this is going to include doing some drilling of an oil hole. We got to drill a, a slot, an unusual slot in the side of the part uh, that will be used for index holding it in place. And then we're going to be doing uh, some reaming for a tapered pin in that little slot that we do uh, on the machine to kind of finally fit it all together. So uh, let's get this thing knocked out. Come on in here. We'll pick up where we left off. The original one here has a little groove cut down in the side here. This is where a pin goes down in the saddle that holds this in place, keeps it from spinning and uh, keeps it from moving in and out. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in there. It's about a half inch in diameter, about 300 thousandths deep. So uh, I've got a half inch end mill here and we're just going to come in and touch off and feed in 300 thou. All right, let's come in here till we touch off. Right there, I'm gonna zero my digital readout and we're just gonna slowly bring that in 300 thou. All right, final step here on the machining. Uh, we got a little oil hole here in the top. Got less oil drip down to the lead screw. So uh, we got a drill bit here. 930 seconds, I think is what it measured out to. And we're just gonna put that right in there. There we go. And with that, I think we're done. Real quickly, just take a quick look here at the slot we put over here that is to final depth and i think my camera shut off in the middle of that shot so i don't think i got all that so i thought i'd go ahead and show that as well but i think we got our machining done uh, let's go see if we can install this so i think we're about ready to put this in so the baron's going to slide up in here you see the the notch and you see this hole those line up we'll probably have to run a tapered reamer down it to get it lined up perfectly, but this pin basically drops down in. This is a tapered pin, so it's going to be tighter in the, smaller on the bottom than the top. And that will hold that in place, keep it from turning, keep it from coming in and out. So uh, what I want to do is start by just uh, cleaning this out, make sure there's no trash or anything in there. And I think I'm going to just put a little bit of a real light spindle oil in here just to give it a little bit of lubrication going in and also kind of help protect from uh, any corrosion or anything. Now this should may have to tap it in a little bit. This should go right in though. All right, we're going to just gently tap that in with a dead blow hammer. And I'm looking down this top right here and getting everything lined up. Thank you. 
We'll take a little tapered punch here and just kind of see if I can line that up a little bit better down the bottom there. There we go. That's much, much better. And let's see what happens here. Yeah, my pin's not going to quite go in yet, but we got a remedy for that. This is a tapered reamer. This uh, for these uh, tapered pins, and we should be able to run that down through there and kind of open that up and get it where we have a nice fit for the uh, tapered pin to go up against. Of course, it's going to get in the way of the top up here, but I think I can get it. I'm just going to have to use a wrench. Yeah, I think we kind of got it going a little bit better now. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, that's starting down in there. I need to go a little bit deeper. I'll tap down tight, but uh, that's not down far enough yet. Just have to massage it down in there. Cutting that groove was really just kind of getting the bulk of the material out. This reamer is what's making that nice fit in between the casting and the bushing. All right, I got a uh, eight point socket put on there with a little extension. And that makes this job much, much easier. I'm gonna run that on down a little bit farther and get that reamed out for that tapered pin. See how this uh, fits. So that's going in there. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Right, I'm going to just tap that in place. There we go. That is locked in there now. That will not rotate, nor will it move in and out. It is keyed into this, and uh, this job is done. But with that, I think it's a wrap. We've got that new uh, bushing all installed, ready to go back together. And actually this whole saddle is now ready to reassemble and um, go back onto the machine. So that'll probably be the next step on this project. We'll be uh, getting that uh, ready to go. But uh, been a fun little project. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching making that new bushing, that new lead screw uh, nut. And uh, with that, that's going to be a wrap. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up, comments, greatly appreciated. Hit that bell icon to get notifications when new videos are posted. And uh, with that, guys, we will catch you on the next video. Again, thanks for watching.